personal finance practice problem using OneNote. Insurance payments for medical claims calculation. Prepare to get financially fit by practicing personal finance. Information's on the left-hand side. We are imagining that we have health insurance, health insurance that will pay out an amount for claims after the deductible at 70%, the deductible per person at the 950. We are imagining that we have doctor and prescription medication for one family member at $4,000. We're gonna calculate the amount paid by the insurance company and the amount paid out of pocket for that claim of the four thousand dollars getting an idea of what does it mean to have a deductible in this case and what does that kind of 70 percent over the deductible mean noting it's a little bit different a little bit more complex on the medical insurance this deductible component or idea or concept than other types of insurance like property insurance for example so in property insurance we often think of the deductible as the amount that we would have to clear that we would have to pay and then the insurance company would pay like 100% up to a certain amount, for example, possibly. With the health insurance, it's often a little bit different. We've got the deductible, the amount that we might uh, have to pay, and then over and above that, we would then have a percent that we would still pay, a percent that the insurance company would pay, and then possibly have a maximum above which the insurance company would pay, for example. So we wanna get an idea of that. We wanna be practicing the building of our table. These are great tools to practice in Excel and then get an idea or concept how you might put the table together so that you can adjust data on the left hand side and have your table kind of populate as you would like to if you were to put this in something like excel you could start to kind of visualize what it would need to do in order to make that work okay and if you want to do this in excel we do these in excel too so then we're going to say okay we got the amount over the deductible that we're going to calculate notice that i'm going to put a, a colon here and tell us tell myself what we're going to do first and then i'm going to indent when i actually do the calculation pull that to the inner common column that's the claim amount of four thousand that's the costs that we have the deductible the amount that we have to pay before the insurance company kicks in is going to be 950 so if we subtract those two out the four thousand minus the 950 the amount over the deductible i said what we were going to do we did the sub calculation now we're summing it up in the outer column is the 3050 over the deductible and then we're saying that 70 percent is going to be paid by the insurance company so we're going to say 3050 times 0.7 that means that they're going to be paying then the 2135 would be the idea here now note that if you set this up in excel you would like to be pulling the data from your data set over here so that i can change these if i had different sets of circumstances and basically have this populate automatically over here one concept you might be saying to say well what if this amount was below the deductible what if it was below then the 950 what if it was only like like 840 or something like that well then you'd be paying the whole thing because you hadn't cleared the deductible and you would have to put basically an if kind of calculation over here uh to pull in the proper amount this is actually down here right so then in this cell we'd have to say well what if this amount was only 800 or something like that well then the amount over the deductible if any would have to basically stop at zero we wouldn't want it to be negative because that would kind of mess up our calculation so if we can practice this logic function uh, in excel you can just get an idea of what you would kind of have to do you'd have to say well if it goes below zero then I, I don't want it to go below zero and you can practice in excel if you want to work this in excel using like an if or logic functions one way that you can make that work so we got the amount paid out of pocket how much are we going to pay then well the amount over the deductible was the 3050 and then we've got the amount paid by the insurance company 2135 that means that we're going to be paying for the amount over the deductible of the 915 and the claim up to the deductible meaning the deductible we're going to have to pay the deductible plus 30 percent over the deductible which is that 915 so if i add those two together that's going to be the out of pocket the 1865 the 1865 to just kind of prove this or check it to myself i'm going to say well the insurance company is going to pay the 3135 here and we're going to be paying the 1865 that should be adding up to the 4000 on down below for the check figure at the 4000 now again in excel you might be you might be doing this calculation and say well 
down here that claim, what if I didn't get up to the deductible? What if this is less than the deductible? Then I might want to use my formulas in Excel to take the lesser of these two numbers, right? It should be, I'm paying either the deductible or the, the smaller amount if it's less than the deductible so that we can then change our data on the left-hand side and have a worksheet that will populate with us. Now you might visualize this another different way. There's a, many different ways we can populate our table. Another way we might look at this, we might say the amount paid out of pocket calculation would be something like this. Amount over the deductible. Once again, I'm gonna put a colon, subcalculation. The claim is 4,000, same starting point. The deductible at the 950. The difference between the two, the 3,050. But then we might go right to the percent out of pocket. So I don't wanna calculate the percent the insurance company is gonna pay, I wanna calculate what we're gonna pay. If the insurance company is gonna be paying 70% and we're taking 100% or one minus the 70%, which obviously you could put in the calculator, one minus 0.7. In other words, you could put this one in a percentage format, 0.3 or 30%. If I move the decimal over, that's gonna give us then the 30%. So if they're paying 70%, we're paying 30% over the deductible. So 30% of the 3,050, 3,050 times 0.3 is gonna give us the 915. And then we're gonna claim or add the claim up to the deductible. We're also gonna be paying the deductible. So we gotta pay the deductible plus 30% of what was over the deductible. So the 915 plus the 950 is gonna give us that 1,865. Again, same concepts with Excel. You might say, well, what if the claim amount was less than the deductible? Well, then, then this number here should basically get to zero and we'd just be having the deductible. So I, would, I could do that with an if calculation on the left-hand side and use a logic function. We could practice that in Excel. Same thing down here with this 950. We're gonna be paying the 950, but, uh, we're, but uh, we're only gonna be paying that if we clear the deductible. If we had some amount below the deductible, we would take the lesser of the claim, which I could take here, or the deductible using, say, amend function. And if you if you use those functions, you could practice in Excel with these nice little practice practical problems to use our data set so we can adjust the data set and see uh, how the calculations would populate to see if we could get it to populate properly based on different scenarios, such as having an amount over the deductible, having an amount below the deductible.